الله ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته ويلكم تو أسكو ده سيستر حليمة جزاك الله خير شيخ I just have a question for like um, yeah like it's not like marriage based um, so the thing is that um, I have a proposed which doesn't pray and like he's a doctor and uh, my mom she's a single mom very like she's very stressing because like I'm 26 years old and this guy that proposed to me he doesn't even pray and I asked about some brothers about him and they told me that he doesn't pray that he's very, very like him um, like he's not religious or on dean or something like that uh, but he's a doctor and I just feel like my mom and my big brother which are not that kind of religious are forcing me to like marry this guy Halima and you live in Denmark no one can force you to marry anyone against your will this is number one and even if you're living in Mecca or living in Egypt in Islam it is not permissible to force any girl to accept any proposal against her will so she has to be fully convinced and happy with the a person who proposed number one number two I've said it many times if a person knocks on my door he says he is the Prime Minister's son mashallah welcome yes I would like to marry your daughter mm, okay I want to ask you a few questions before I ask him what do you do for a living and what degree do you have his prayers uh, how much you know of the Quran then investigate about his akhlaq and his manners. If I know that this person drinks, then no questions asked. No, sorry, or not actually given uh, my daughter to anyone who drinks or who is not even religiously committed. The first question the Almighty Allah will ask us on the Day of Judgment about it will be about the prayer. Not about the certificate that your licensed doctor or physician in Denmark or in the state of Texas or anywhere. This is great to be a doctor, to be a physician, and to be a pharmacist, to be a dentist. All of that is great, but that comes secondary. Number one, if the person is God fearing, if he loves Allah and if he fears Allah, if not, then I don't need to ask. Don't even say that, well, he's a doctor. He's an American citizen. So what? I don't care. Okay, but the person, mashallah, he has a decent job, uh, he has a good degree, and uh, I like him. He looks smart, and he prays. When you say, he, but he only prays the fard, I would say, Halima, Bismillah, no problem. At least he's maintaining the fard prayers, the five daily prayers. He doesn't have time for the night prayer. He doesn't have time to fast Mondays and Thursdays. I mean, I would wish to have such person for my daughter. But if not, then at least he's maintaining the obligatory acts of worship. A person who is not doing so and he's not praying, no further questions. No, thank you. I'm not interested. Somebody might say, what if we advise him and give him da'wah? Yes, of course I would do that. So I would say, son, you know that with the COVID-19 and its different variants, we're losing a lot of doctors. So today you're standing on foot and you're making very good money and you're very famous. But you may meet Allah at any moment. So what have you prepared for that meeting? He may ring a bell. He may alert him to start praying. One word could lead to changing the life of an individual. Could make a person super righteous. So I wouldn't hesitate to give him an advice. But I would be kind of skeptical to say, well, if you pray, I will give you my daughter. So he starts praying on and off just to get married. Then afterward, my daughter finds out that he has girlfriends and he drinks and um, he has a lot of bad relations because in the first place he wasn't praying. 